Hey guys, Nick, aka the one only Crisis YT, and this is kind of like a tips video. I know this is something that I normally don't do, right? I normally just talk about stuff and everything like that, but I was playing Modern Warfare 3. That was a fail grenade. Don't do that. But, um, I was playing Modern Warfare 3, like, yesterday, and I've been playing it all this week trying to stock up on gameplay again because I'm, I'm running a little bit low, but I'm good now. Nevertheless, um, and I got this, just out of the blue, I, I don't know what was going on this whole night. I was clicking, putting, like, 30-plus kill TDMs. And uh, this in itself is a 44 and 10 team deathmatch. So I thought it would be a good gameplay for me to showcase because it's really good and I do a lot of things right. And uh, I also do some things wrong though. So I'm going to point out what I do right, what I do wrong, and uh, try to help you guys become better Call of Duty players. So let's go ahead and jump on into this. You'll notice in this whole entire game, I am staying in the middle of the map, okay? Um, if, if I'm not in the middle of the map, I try to get there because that's a high traffic area. And you know where people are going to be coming from, right? You can estimate the spawns. They're either going to be coming from your right or your left. There's really not going to be anyone coming from behind you if you stay in the right spot. And, um, you know, just be aware. Now, right there, I knew I had the UAV was going by. I saw that that guy was there. Same thing there, the UAV. I'm watching my radar, and I'm watching the UAV. That is something that I cannot stress enough. Run UAV when you're playing Team Deathmatch. I've noticed um, less and less people are using Assassin, Okay. So that means UAVs are going to catch more and more people. And because of that, it makes them that much better of a kill streak, you know. And it's simple, an easy three kill streak. I can pick up a ton of UAVs. I do in this match. I pick up a lot of UAVs. And there, if it wasn't for the UAV, I wouldn't have made it as far as I did in this match. I wouldn't have gotten as big of a score as I did. And right here, I make a bad call. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to push these guys. But I see on the UAV, there's a guy back there. And he is head glitching out of his mind. And he kills me because I decided to go for him instead of going around the corner and getting the double kill. That was basically a for sure thing because those guys had their back turned. I should have just went around that corner, but I didn't. I stopped and I went, and that was a mistake. Now, as you can see there, I picked up two quick guys. Basically, the UAV helped me out yet again there, and um, knowing that those guys were there. Now, right there, I went for the reload, but I canceled myself when that guy jumped around the corner. That way, I could get the quick jump on him, and even though he jumped the corner on me... I was able to cancel the reload and still kill him because of that. So, I'm just picking guys off here, watching the UAV. We have them pretty much locked down in their spawn at this point. They're not going to get out of there. We just have them sitting here pwning noobs, basically. Um, and that's what you want to do. You want to pwn noobs. And it doesn't matter how good of a player they are. It's going to be hard for, to get out of this spawn trap once you have them locked down with so many UAVs coming in. Like, I'm getting UAV after UAV after UAV. And just because of that... I'm, I'm pwning. I'm just going and going and going, and that UAV keeps telling me where everyone is at. Now, I use assault kill streaks, and the reason for that is, for one, I feel like I do better when I use assault kill streaks, and two, I have that UAV and that Predator missile that can get me an easy, you know, that's an easy boom. That pre UAV gets me to my five kill streak, Predator get missile gets me to my uh, precision airstrike, and I'm really good with the precision airstrike. I know how to call them. I know how to estimate where people are going to go. I know Matt moved enough, movement enough to use them quite nicely and as you can see there, I did get a double kill with them. So I'm very good with the precision airstrike. Of course, sometimes I don't get any kills with them. So you just kind of have to balance it out. But I think they're a really good kill streak, and there's no reason in my mind that you shouldn't run them. Um, right here, I pick up the MP7 because I just felt like using the MP7 and my G36 was running out of ammo. So I decided to pick up the MP7 just to keep the measures going. And that's something else. Stay aware of your ammo count and things like that, especially if you're not running Scavenger, because if you end up running out of ammo, what are you going to do? Nothing. There's nothing you can do. You're screwed there. So you have to just keep going and keep going and keep going. And um, as you can see right there, boom, I knifed a guy. Don't be afraid to do that. Knifing is good. Knifing is good. Don't be afraid to panic knife. And like, I run tactical layout. A lot of people ask me, oh, I get lucky here. Look at that. Boom. I got so lucky. But um, a lot of people ask me, how do you panic knife with tactical? I've been using it since I started Call of Duty. Yeah, I immediately switched and started playing tactical because that's what my friends were playing. And I just know how to panic knife with it. I know how to move my thumb fast enough to hit that knife button as well as drop shot whenever I need to. And, and tactical is an amazing control set. If you guys don't use it, then I would recommend switching, at least trying it out. It's really not that hard to learn. And once you get it down, you'll notice that your game will improve a little bit. Now... As you can see here, I'm just using the G36 power and, uh, you know, keeping my distance, trying to use the G36 to how I want it. You know, I mean, the G36 is a long-range weapon, and I'm using it like that. Now, here there's a helicopter in the air, and I'm trying to stay out of this helicopter's way. Now, by doing that, I'm hugging this wall. 
Okay, by staying up against that wall, I was away from that helicopter. But as you noticed, as soon as I moved out from behind that wall, that helicopter killed me. So I should have just camped there, should have just stayed there. I know it wouldn't, and really the only reason I moved out of that spot was I was thinking gameplay, gameplay. You guys, that would not be entertaining, me sitting there hugging that wall. But I, if I was trying to keep my KD up and wasn't trying to play entertaining, I would um, I would have just sat there, waited that helicopter out, and boom, as you can see now, it's leaving the map. I would have had to sit back there a little while, but it would have been worth it if I could have uh, not died any and probably picked up a couple kills as well. So, as you can see there, Flash, I was just trying to get away. I thought I was actually running, but I wasn't. I was crouched, which is kind of a fail, but I was able to make it out of there. No one came around the corner, and um, we're good. So, right here, I'm, two things are happening. I'm watching the radar for people, and I'm sound whoring. So, I'm, I'm sitting here, and I'm watching the radar, and I see, okay, there's a red dot coming. I know that I can easily pick this guy off, and uh, as soon as he comes around the corner, I do, as well as I'm listening. Okay, I hear a guy's footsteps. He did, he's not showing up on the radar because he has assassin, but he didn't have uh, dead silence on. So I hear him coming around the corner, and I kill him. Headsets are amazing. I use the Turtle Beach X11 to get that question a lot, but Astros are good as well. Tritons, I'm iffy on, but some people like them, some people don't. It's kind of a personal preference. But the X11s are amazing for their money, and you know, good overall. Now, right here, as you can, like, as I said, middle, middle, middle. It's a high traffic area, and you can pick up a ton of kills in the middle. Now. Right here, I'd already put that guy in the final stand, and I knew he was there. I decided to come back for my kill plus, move back to mid. I Right there, just turn and spray, and I was able to get the luck headshot. But even if I didn't get the luck headshot, I probably would have killed that guy. I either would have knifed or kept spraying, no scoping him. See, just boom. Don't aim down your sights, and you'll easily get a guy up close, no matter what weapon it is. So, yeah, guys, I hope this kind of helped you out. I know it was a really quick, and I was rushing through everything. But if you have any questions about what I said or what to do in certain situations, post them in the comments, and I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. Um, if we could get this video to, like, 50 likes, that would be incredible. So, yeah, guys, I'm CrisisYT, and I'm out. Peace. And we finally have a new outro layout. It was made by JDM Brothers. Go check him out. His channel is in the description. He does some commentaries, things like that. Pretty good video, so go check him out if you haven't seen his channel already. But nevertheless, on the top is a Halo Reach commentary entitled Aim for the Head. Basically, it's a Halo Reach video in which I break down and give you some tips and tricks and things like that and tell you to do this and don't do that and do this and don't do that because that's what I try to do. Help you guys out and improve your game on Halo Reach. And the bottom video is I'm partnered because I am. I am now a Yoush partner. And if you have any other questions or anything like that, go check out that video first before you ask me directly because I'll probably answer, answer them in that video as well as, uh, you know, I give you my thanks to you guys and things like that because it's your guys' partnership as well as mine. Also, if you guys are new around here and you enjoy Call of Duty videos, I post them every single day of the week. So please subscribe because I'll fill up your subscription box because I'm awesome. No, one video a day. That's it. Nevertheless, also, follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook because, you know, if you subscribe, subscription boxes mess up quite a bit. So, you know, you'll get my videos on there just in case you don't get them in your sub box. Also, we do now have a random video, video, so click on that if you haven't, you know, you might want to just watch some videos or something like that, one of my older ones. Click on that video and that'll take you off to an older video that you probably haven't seen, especially if you're a new subscriber. So, yeah, guys, I'm CrossSYT. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'm out. Peace.